guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig, it's six o'clock, it's time for a Magic Live, and today I'm gonna to be performing a routine called Four Jokers. Uh, this is marketed by Penguin Magic, by P3, and it's a uh, it's a packet trick with four jokers where the, uh, the colors change place, the backs of the colors change from red to blue. Now, um, what I've done with this um, is I've changed it to make it a little bit clearer from my point of view, because the issue I had with this trick is a lot of stuff was happening for no reason. It was almost like magical vomit. Uh, well, I've now kind of given it a structure and I now love performing this. I've been doing it in virtual shows. It gets a great reaction. What I've done is I've kind of taken the concept of, uh, I think it's Eric Chen, if you've ever seen his act where uh, he's got like blue cards on this side, red cards on this side, and as he deals, they change and they change into coins and they disappear. It's an amazing act. And what I've done is I've, I've taken that concept of having a red indicator card and a blue indicator card. And what I've done is I've applied it to this packet trick. So now when the backs of the cards are changing from red to blue for seemingly no reason, now we have a reason. It's that clarity. Because we've actually got the two sides, uh, we've got the clarity of the cards changing places. And also it means that um, uh, the cleanup's a lot easier because we've got these two uh, cards here as well. So let's have a look at it. This is four. Four Jokers by P3. Okay, right, we've uh, we've got some cards here, yeah? yeah? Now, this first card is a blue card. You can tell it's a blue card because it's got a blue back. Yes. But I've actually wrote blue on the other side as well. <laughs> so that you know that that's a blue card, right? Yeah. And this card's a red card, but so you know it's a red card, I've actually wrote red on the other side. Now, these are actually indicator cards. This one over here is a blue card. This one over here is a red card. So there's an invisible line, and when you put it there, it turns blue. And if you put it there, it turns red. Basically, I'm channeling my inner... Uh, Eric Chen, yes, that's correct. Blue over there, red over there. Now, um, I also have another four cards, and these four cards are uh, a four jokers. Joker number one, joker number two, joker number three, joker number four, right? Yeah. Now, th interestingly, these cards get affected depending on which side of the table they're on. So if I put the red cards over there, that's obviously... Red. Well, they're red, exactly. Now, these are red as well, but I want you to watch something. If I take... Uh, these cards, for example, and just put them in front of the blue side, and I wait a second. As soon as I've waited a second, what happens is these actually turn blue. Isn't that weird? Don't you think that's kind of weird? Yeah. I mean, these stay red because they're on the red side, but these are now blue. Now, let me, let me do that again for you. We'll put the blue ones over here, yeah? We'll put the blue ones over here, and what we'll do is we'll take the, uh, the red ones, and what I'll do this time is I'm going to put the red ones back to back, and put them right there in the middle. And in fact, I'll take these blue ones and put them right there in the middle as well. Right not turn one red, one blue. Mm, well, yeah, what will happen, check this out. You'll end up with, you'll end up with these, one red, one blue, and you'll end up with one red and one blue here. You see, wherever you put them on the table, it kind of affects the cards. Should, should, we, should we try that again? Yeah. Let's, let's try that again. I'll tell you what I'll do. Let me just put these two, one red, one blue there, right? Yeah. And I'm going to take these. And I want you to remember that the blue card goes on top of the red card, right? Yeah. Now, right there, if I left them here, we'd end up with, with one red and bl one blue, obviously, because it, it's there in the middle. But if I move that, let me just move these over here for a minute. If I put those there in the blue side and I wait a second, what happens is these now both turn blue. But because I move those over there, these are now red. So weird, don't you think it's weird? Like, it's really weird. Like, I tell you what, we'll try one last thing. I'm going to put those on the blue side. We know that these are, we know that these are blue, don't we? Because they're on the blue side. And, and these are on the red side. Now, I'm going to keep these on the red side. And as long as I keep them on the red side, they'll, they'll stay red. But check this out, Ryan. If I take these and put them on the blue on the red side as well. This will go back to the beginning. We'll go back to exactly the way we were at the beginning. With a red card and a red card and a red card. And a red card. Don't you think that's kind of like really weird? Yeah. But I'll tell you what we're going to try and do. Let me get rid of uh, the, the, the indicator cards, okay? Yeah. We're going to get rid of the, uh, the red and the blue indicator cards. We'll put them away in my pocket, okay? Yeah. And we'll just use these, uh, these four um, jokers. Now, they're all red, right? Yeah. We know they're all red because... Um, well, they, they have to be because, right, because uh, they, there's no indicator cards. But what I want you to do is touch a card for me, any one you want to. That one there, are you sure? Yeah. You can change your mind if you want to. You want to happy with that one, yeah? Yeah. 
Now, that one is actually a red card, right? Of course it's a red card because it, they're all red. <laughs> well, exactly, right? It's a red card because they're all red. But I want you to watch. You see, if I just do this and just touch it to where that... the blue side was. Do you remember the blue indicator was there? Yeah, but because the blue indicator is gone, it doesn't mean there's no invisible lines. You know, no, no, but if I touch it here to where the blue side was... It's now, still blue. Now that's why I turn... Now, it's yeah. still blue, red, blue. Exactly, now blue. that one's blue, and these over here are red. And, and you can, I mean, you can examine everything. It's so weird. You can play with them yourself. So there you go. That's another Magic Live, guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Uh, it's a great trick. I absolutely love it. And if you want to go ahead and use that, uh, that sort of presentational idea of mine, you're more than welcome to. Uh, I think it really does clean the whole trick up and it gives it a little bit more clarity. But let me know what you think down in the comments. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more videos like this, like the video. And I'll be back again tomorrow with another Magic Live at 6 o'clock. So I'll see you then. Thanks very much for watching. My name's Craig from Magic TV.